Hello, wonderful family. Blessed be the name of the Most High God for His good and His mercies endure forever. Hallelujah. This is another wonderful day, another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. I just want to use the opportunity today to um, encourage us. Um, we've entered the second month of the year of 2021. And some of us might not have actually seen what... Um, gotten the promise that the Father has given to us, which it might not have manifested. But I want to encourage us, hold fast to your confession of faith. The reason why the Bible says hold fast to your profession of faith or profession of hope is very simple. You're only told to continue saying the same thing that God has said at times that you have not seen what God has said. When things seem to be contradicting what God has said, He says to turn it around, you just keep on saying what God has said. That way you're saying God is telling the truth. The devil is lying. What you're seeing is just like a movie that uh, is not real. It's not the real thing. Everything else is subject to change. It's only God's word that is not subject to change. If He has said it, He will bring it to pass. That word confession is a, is a Greek word, homologia. If you think about it, homo, one, logia, speech. So that is basically saying one thing. You keep saying what God has said, the same thing that God has said, the same thing. Now, when you say what God has said, the Bible says that angels hacking onto the voice of, or the, 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 the hello, sorry, praise God. Some technical glitches again. Yeah, where was I? Hold fast to your confession of faith. Homologia entails that you're saying the same thing that God has said so that you see exactly what God has said. And it means that you are going to be seeing most times the opposite of what God has said. That's why you are enjoying to keep saying what God has said. If you've already seen what God has said, there's no need saying it again. It has already come to pass. But in the, in, the, in the situation or in a situation where the thing is actually acting out, trying to make God a liar, your duty there is to make that thing understand that you believe God. And how do you make it understand that you believe God? By saying what God has said. Imagine a scenario where somebody who is a known liar comes and, and, and is trying to convince people about uh, something he, like he wants to say that um, a team in the next city just won its match. Meanwhile, you heard from a reliable source that that team lost its match. But this guy is very eloquent in his speech and he just comes out there and is flamboyantly going about saying that the, theme, the team he was supporting won its match. If you believe that person who told you that the other team won. You counter what this chap has said. Immediately, you don't let him just spread his wild oats of, um, of lies in, this, in the community where it would take root and germinate. No, you speak the truth. You say what you believe. The fact that you're saying it means that you believe it because the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And he says, just only let what comes out of your mouth be the same thing that I have said. Because you know the function of a high priest is to take your words and present it to God. And the Bible says Jesus is our high priest. So when you say the same thing that he is going to present before God, you get what he has said. God bless you. Hallelujah.